All right, so we have a trade to talk about between the Nashville Predators and the Los Angeles Kings. So the Los Angeles Kings have acquired Victor Arvidsson in exchange for a 2021 second round pick and a 2022 third round pick headed back the other way to Nashville. And I think Victor Arvidsson is a very serviceable player for LA as he scored 10 goals and 15 assists for 25 points through 50 games last year. And yeah, maybe that's not quite to the pace he was scoring at through 2016 to 2019. But still, I think this is a very good move for the Kings. Very serviceable player, like I said and a guy who I think can help move the Kings rebuild forward. And for Nashville, they pick up two draft picks. Um, this looks like somewhat of a rebuilding move for them, you would think, but with that being said, they do have 22 million in cap space, so maybe they go after a big free agent. Maybe they go after Dougie Hamilton, the guy who played on the team that eliminated them from the playoffs, because I do think Nashville is a team that's not looking to rebuild after they made the playoffs this past season. I think they're a team that's looking to kind of retool on the fly, get kind of young, but still stay competitive, not do like a full tear down like Ottawa or Detroit did or anything like that. So they have a lot of cap space, like I said, and GM David Poyle, I think, is going to be very busy this offseason, whether it's making trades or maybe even making big free agent signings. We'll have to see what happens there. That'll be very interesting to see that. As far as winners and losers on this trade, it's tough to say right now because when there is draft picks involved, it gets tricky. If Nashville drafts a guy who becomes the next Nikita Kucherov, who was a second round pick in 2011, say their second round pick in 2021 becomes a guy like that, then obviously Nashville wins the trade. Uh, if they pick up two guys who aren't really that great and Arvidsson plays really well for LA, then obviously LA wins the trade. So right now, as far as winners and losers, it's too tricky and too early to tell. But let me know what you all think in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe and share this video. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll talk to you again soon.